Hello everyone, welcome to Medical Tutor. And today's daily short work pass question is from the year 2015, and we are talking about chemistry, in particular electrolysis. The question says, which of the following substances is a non-electrolyte? Remember, this is a topic that falls under electrolysis, like I said, electrolysis, and we can give a short summary of what electrolysis is about before we answer this question. Electrolysis, according to the word electro, means electricity, right? And the word lysis, that's why lysis means breakdown. Okay, breakdown. Now, electrolysis is the chemical breakdown of a compound which occurs when electricity is passed through the molten state or the liquid state of that compound. It's the kind of chemical breakdown that occurs when electricity is passed through the molten state or liquid state of that compound. Okay, but not all compound allows uh, electricity to pass through them for electrolysis. Okay, and uh, not all compound undergoes chemical breakdown. Do you understand? Now, that's why there are some substances called non-electrolytes. Why there are some called electrolytes? Just the same way we have um, non-conductors and conductors. That's the same way we have non-electrolytes and electrolytes. Now, electrolytes are ones that allow electricity to pass through them for chemical breakdown, whereas the non-electrolytes are the ones that do not allow electricity to pass through them for chemical breakdown. Now, one example of electrolytes is uh, NaCl. Another example is NH4Cl. We have KCl, ETC. We also have one of our options here, H2SO4. When it breaks down, we are going to be having something like H2 and um, our SO4 two negative. Okay, so SO4 two negative. Now we also have um, okay, we have our CH COH. Okay, that's the ethanoic acid, and. Um, if you want to break it down, we are going to be having CH3, COO, plus H+. Plus. Now, this is a very weak electrolyte. It is an electrolyte, but it's very weak. Okay? The same, this one is a very strong electrolyte. The same thing with this, but this is a very weak electrolyte. Regardless, it's still an electrolyte. Now, the C, option C here now, it can't be broken down. This one is known as hexanal. Yes, if you draw the chemical structure, I remember saying, okay, let's try and draw this. C, 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 and C. Now, double O and H. I believe you already know what completes the rest. These ones are H, 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 and H. Okay? Now, I believe you already know about how to write or how to draw the structure of an hydrocarbon. So, now, these eggs are now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We have and O here, H here. So this is a carbonyl compound, uh, hexanal. Okay, now, of all these ones here, we said H2SO4 is an electrolyte. CH3CO is a weak electrolyte, but still an electrolyte. nh 4 co is an electrolyte. However, C is the odd one out. This is a non-electrolyte. Of course, it does not um, allow for chemical breakdown through the passage of um, electricity or whatsoever. So the odd one out here, which is a non-electrolyte, is C6H12O. I believe you understand that. If there's any question about this, please make sure you use the comment section. We are going to readily answer to you. Okay. Now, with the topic, uh, with, the, with, the re with regards to the topic concerning this question, that is electrolysis. If you need, if you have any question, you are for us particularly on electrolysis. Make sure you also use the comment section. If you want us to produce a video on electrolysis, and you, you know you are going to watch this, okay you know you're going to watch this just make sure you use the comment section and we're going to make a short video on it to explain what we've just done today okay in the video we'll be able to explain what they call the electrode fully electrolyte all the types of electrolytes examples of electrolytes electrode itself we have different type of electrode we have carbon electrodes we have um, uh, um platinum electrodes we have them a lot all the things you need to know for your work exam okay just make sure you use the comment section and we're going to make it into production okay all right thanks for watching this make sure you subscribe and share this video to others thanks for watching